Hey what's up guys, Wicked Android HD here and today I'm gonna be making 2000 subscribers super special video review actually it's, a, it's gonna be a video tutorial which um, will lead into a much simple way for me to review ROMs and for you to test ROMs that I review this is gonna be a multi-ROM tutorial installation on our beloved Galaxy S4 um, there are some things that you need to make sure to double check before proceeding to the to the tutorial part. Uh, first of all, uh, first uh, thing is that you're gonna need root. This is a must, of course. Uh, recovery and multi-window ROM manager. Nope, because this isn't working. If you open it and then you'll go into installation part as you may see it says failed there because it's it has some kind of downloading problems so you, we won't gonna use this because this was too simple for wicked android to make a tutorial of we're gonna use the raw method using a recovery and make sure you download these two files right down below pay attention again this is a tutorial for my device the Samsung Galaxy S4 international variant i9505 pay attention don't ask if it is for i9500 or any other T-Mobile uh, Verizon carrier branded branded carrier but you're gonna need two files and a custom kernel that supports key executing patch here on my external SD card I have Euphoria OS which I'm gonna be booting after I flash multi-ROM the kernel, Alucard's kernel which uh, is uh, which has key ex support a multi-ROM unofficial for GFLTE which is my device and uh, touch we, uh, team win recovery project multi ROM GFLT. So let's get right into it. I'm ru I'm currently running a 4.4.2 KitKat ROM Omega version 40, along with uh, Alucard's kernel, latest for TouchWiz, the latest and it's not gonna be updated anymore. So yeah. It's a final release and it's the benefits of key executing patch. All you need to do now if you're running a KitKat or any kind of ROM is to make sure that again you have a supported um, kernel with key executing. I'll list the supported kernels in the description right down below and of course these two files that you'll need to download and any kind of ROM, you have tons of ROMs on my um, channel to choose from after you flash a multi-ROM support patch so all you need to do now is to boot into recovery so restart and boot into recovery this is the Omega boot animation so it is very simple it's not as simple as uh, having it installed by the app itself but as you saw it isn't working so this is a more updated um, more updated multi-ROM so it's the latest one so it's better it's better to be updated and to install it uh, raw mode in raw mode by using recovery so right now as you may see I'm using field touch 6 recovery and we're gonna convert it to Team Win Recovery Project. We're gonna click Install Zip and then choose Zip from SD Card One because this is the external SD card on this device. And then we're gonna choose Multi RAW. Right now it says installing Multi RAM. It was brought to us by Antares One. injecting boot image installation complete and then we're gonna flash 
Tamwin Recovery Project, multi ROM. Again, brought to you by, by Antares One. The kernel is already installed, but if it's not on your device, you'll just have to click it and install it, as I did uh, with the previous files. Now let's get back and reboot. Sorry, reboot into recovery again. This is gonna be the new recovery team rim recovery project. with multi-ROM support so team win nice intro man and as you may see I am clicking advanced and then there is an option here called multi-ROM you can add ROM, list ROM, inject boot, IMG file and other options as you may see we haven't got any ROM installed but we're gonna try Euphoria OS installed to internal memory it's Android and you just select zip file and you go into your micro SD card because I have my ROM there it's called Euphoria OS and then swipe to continue in order to flash the ROM So it says installing ROM. So what is this multi win multi ROM sorry <laughs> all about? It's kind of a dual boot on Windows with Linux, for example. So both of the operating systems use the same hardware in order to run. So it's just when it boots up you just select the ROM you'd like to use just like the operation system you like to use so I'll get back to you guys after it finishes the installation so the installation of this ROM is done is finished completely 100% but how do you install gaps if you if you want to try a an ASP ROM you just go into multi ROM again and list ROMs and choose the ROM that you want to install gaps on and then choose flash zip and choose the gaps from wherever you stock them so right now it's flashing gaps and then we'll reboot and boot Euphoria ROM and then we'll test if something happened with the with my latest 4.4.2 ROM my configuration, my stable configuration I hope not because I haven't uh, haven't made any backup fucking haven't done any backup man so reboot system Samsung Galaxy S4 boot logo cancel what the fuck was that so it's booting Omega ROM but I couldn't press cancel button well let's see if everything is okay with Omega then we'll try Euphoria OS Come on, don't let me down. Yep, seems to me that everything is okay. Let me enter the pin. And then we'll draw the pattern. Let's unlock. Yep, everything is working as it should be. Let me check the kernel. 
Ev okay. Our cards, kernel, everything is working perfectly. Okay, I found what you have to do. It's a Galaxy S4 bug running touch with. All you have to do when you see that message, you press the power button and it will get into this menu. You can navigate by pressing these buttons there, you know, but you can also use touchscreen right now. So miscellaneous options you can reboot either to recovery bootloader or your entire device again. You can shut down your device. And let's see if Euphoria OS is working. So tap again to boot the system booting Euphoria OS. It's gonna take some time because um, it needs to build up the data. Yep, we're running Euphoria OS, guys. Multi ROM. 5.1.1 Euphoria OS with Cyanogen mode, kernel. Everything worked perfectly, even the gaps were installed. As you may see, Play Store is perfectly functional. I haven't set up any Google account. Um, so, yep, that was it. How to delete? Right now, we're gonna boot into. Okay, let me just go. And um, it's a tutorial on how to enable advanced mode rebooting into any Cyanogen mode ROMs. Reboot and then we're gonna reboot into recovery. Just to show you guys how to delete a ROM from multi ROM window. And now it's booting into recovery. Come on. It's been staying so much boot into recovery. Team moon recovery again. So we're gonna go into advanced, multi-ROM, list ROM. And then click delete right here. Delete multi-ROM, done. So there's no custom ROM running right now. Instead of uh, my internal best configuration KitKat based on KitKat. So that was it for today guys. I, I hope you like it. If you did, make sure you thumbs up and hit the damn subscribe button again. It keeps me motivating doing this kind of stuff. I have to thank um, Ovax Ivanov for making me do this video. Making me do this video. Thanks to him, really thank you, you You helped me right now, because you know I've been doing uh, um, Android backups again and again and had to wipe and so on, right now it's gonna be a simple method to, a simple way to flash custom ROMs and to show you guys these kind of uh, features that every ROM comes with. So, yep, Omega ROM booted perfectly after deleting the Euphoria ROM. So, thank you for watching, guys. Wicked Android is out. Bye bye.